Hello, I'm Craig from Craig and Dave, and today I'd like to introduce you to the first of a new exciting series of videos called Corinne Talks C and D. So Corinne Sherman is a computer science teacher from Bristol and an enthusiastic user of our resources. And she's very kindly offered to do a series of instructional videos on how she uses our resources with her students. So the first video today is how to use our GCSE workbooks. Welcome to the Craig and Dave workbook. GCSE Unit 2.4 Computational Logic. This spec is from the J276 spec. Um, there are new workbooks available for J277. So with this workbook, I've converted it into slides because I use it in Google Classrooms. The first slide, you have the specification and the learning objectives to remind students what part of the, the specification they are focusing on. The resources are also handily um, identified here. So within the PG Online textbook and also the videos that are available on the YouTube channel. Each slide has some tasks on it and at the bottom here you've got the instructions how to complete each task. You can just write in the boxes, computer store data in binary 0 or 1 because. So unless you've watched the videos or looked in the textbook you might not know this. So it's best to watch the videos first, that's what they're there for. Okay, the style of flipped learning. The second, the next slide, the task here, we've got the gates, reminding you what the gate, the three gates are. At the bottom, you've got the information, the tasks, um, instructions, label the three logic gates correctly, not and nor. So underneath each gate, you would write the correct answer. It also has the, the notations available as well, because they might appear in, in the exam um, in 2021. So you've got the, the notation for not, notation for and, and the notation for or. And it's the task is to put that in the correct box here. And then you've got to co um, complete the truth table for each logic gate here as well. Each task is really well laid out. Um, draw the logic gate for expression A and C. Um, obviously, you can't draw on this. You can use shapes. You could insert shapes. But I would use a website such as Logically or Logic Lab to draw and then cut and paste in there. Okay, and there's a couple of those for practice, each with um, varying degrees of difficulty and varying degrees of, of input. So this one's got four inputs here. And then it's practicing the truth tables with the circuits as well. And then the final slide we have, um, practicing your computing related mathematics looking at some algorithms as well. And then how well do you think you've got? So you, look, you can look at your target grade, put your overall grade for this, and then comments and action from the teacher, and then student response once you've finished. 